Hello, Frank. Hello, Ursulia. So, how does your company innovate? Oh, that's a big topic. Yes. So, we first we focus on customers, and we try to understand uh, needs or problems from customers, uh, either in B two B or in B two C, because Bosch. It's a big company. We have a turnover of uh, 70 billion euros. Wow. First activity is in the automotive. We are the first automotive supplier with 43 billion euros. And then we are known for appliances, for okay. example, and for other B2B activities. So we need to start from customers, uh, wherever they are. And, uh, and then also we have our own innovation, spontaneous innovation uh, from our engineers, from uh, our associates in general. More can technology push exactly, kind of innovation. Exactly, more technology push from uh, uh, our associates. What kind of tools, methods do you use usually in your company? So we have several tools. The first one, uh, recently, uh, we have just opened our uh, research, uh, advanced uh, research uh, center in uh, Stuttgart, in Reningen, uh, where you have all uh, kind of uh, uh, technology field uh, on one site. Okay. okay, this is the first uh, um, axis, uh, the first uh, topic. Second topic is uh, um, uh, the, the network we have built. We are uh, around uh, advanced engineering, about engineering in the different business unit, but also involving business development and marketing. Uh, and they all work in, in a team. So we are spread all over the world. So we need also uh, to, uh, to create this network that people can share uh, their ideas, uh, their problems. Uh, so we have also some IT tools, but also we have uh, some um, uh, uh, specific events uh, by region or also uh, at our headquarters in Germany. Okay. Can you give us an example of innovation? Uh, yes, I will speak about two innovations. The first innovation is uh, um, uh, the 48-volt uh, hybrid uh, e-machine. Uh, we started from a generator, which is used for 12-volt uh, vehicles, uh, and we associated uh, power electronics to manage it at 48 volt. So it's an incremental uh, innovation. Uh, uh, but thanks to it, uh, it avoids us to redesign, to rebuild a complete new uh, e-machine for 48 volt and to support uh, the internal combustion engine and to reduce uh, CO2 emissions. Also, uh, we have uh, developed a, a very important innovation starting from uh, the automotive field to uh, the consumer electronics. Wow. And these are MEMS, uh, micro electronical mechanical systems okay. uh, like accelerometer. So everybody knows it, or at least use it. Use it, yeah. Maybe yeah. we don't know. But yes, perhaps you don't know. In your smartphone, you've got uh, uh, a MEMS, an accelerometer, for example. And when you turn your smartphone, if the image change, okay. it's due to the detection of the movement by uh, uh, the MEMS, okay, okay, which is integrated. In a vehicle, you have at least 50 MEMS today, okay. and in a smartphone, around 10 MEMS. Okay. Um, what kind of initiatives do you have to encourage people to innovate in your company? So, so uh, in our company, we uh, emphasize uh, patents, uh, for example. Uh, so there are commissions where uh, ideas are evaluated. Uh, and if we think uh, there's a potential for this idea, it can be patented. And there's a reward uh, for uh, our associates, uh, also according to the importance uh, of this patent. Uh, we emphasize also the, the work together. And it seems to work because last year we have uh, patented uh, or, or made 5,000 requests for oh, patent. Wow. Okay, uh, so it's huge. Uh, and uh, we try to keep this uh, going. Uh, we try also to not to innovate internally, but also externally. So uh, we have uh, our venture capital fund, which is RBVC. So we are the first fund of 150 million euros and we open a second one uh, because the first one is full and the second one will be uh, uh, about the same uh, amount of money. Uh, and last point also, we try to work with some startups without investing directly, but identifying some technologies, especially in France with the French tech, uh, in Germany, in Berlin, because it's a, a big hub for startups, in Israel, 
and also in Silicon Valley. So we have people uh, who can identify the different technologies. And for example, in France, uh, I'm responsible of this activity. Okay, and so you have all these open innovation actions to enlarge yes. possibility of innovations. Yes, we like to innovate internally because uh, I told you we, we have made uh, more than 5,000 requests last year for patents. Nevertheless, we need also to uh, embed innovation technologies from other companies in mm -hmm. our products. It's wha what we try to do uh, with uh, the different uh, uh, solutions uh, I just explained. Okay. And what kind of advice can you give to innovators, to future innovators? So first thing is uh, not to work alone because uh, uh, nobody has all competencies. It's very important to share, to discuss with other people having different skills. Uh, so uh, the first thing is to the ability to work in teams and also to find out the right uh, uh, skills uh, in other people. Okay, that's very important. And also it's very important to think about the final usage uh, of innovation, to think about the customer, uh, uh, to think about the problem you try to solve uh, uh, or the need from your customers. Uh, because uh, the difference between an innovation and uh, uh, an invention, uh, this is uh, market success, okay? And you can get it only thanks to your customers. So uh, you need really to, to work and to uh, early enough uh, thinking about your customers and even uh, very fast to test your ideas, your innovation uh, with uh, uh, potential customers. Okay, so don't be afraid to share your ID, to collaborate and focus on the customer. That's exactly. your message. Thank you very much, Frank. Thank you. Thank you.